Hello again, Floss Tube. It's Monday, April 23rd, and welcome to West Virginia. It's raining today, which I absolutely love. I I'm, I'm love rain and storms and snuggling in and cross stitching on days like this. Um, oh, this has been one more day so far. Our toilet is leaking. So right now it is unattached from the floor, sitting in the middle of my bathroom floor. My husband had to run out to get some parts, so hopefully he can get that fixed today. It's, you know, you know how plumbing issues are. It's not, not anything fun. And of course it has to be raining and he's tracking mud all through. Anyway, um, I got ready to sit down to make this floss tube and spill coffee on my shirt. You know, the girls have to have whatever I'm having. That's just typical. So it's it's just been nuts. So I'm just going to sit and watch Judge Judy and, and cross stitch and, and try to just breathe. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a wonderful week. We did a lot of um, stuff in this nice weather. My husband's been piddling in the yard all week and and on Friday, we, uh, you know, I told you I like graveyards and cemeteries, and I'm kind of the family historian. I, I've been um, looking at our um, family history, tracing our roots. My grandfather's father, my great grandfather, immigrated. He and his wife both immigrated from Russia. Um, so I am a second, third generation. Um, uh, American from Russia on my mother's side. So um, my great grandmother um, died in 1925 and one of her daughters died in 1935 and they're both buried in a local cemetery here. And my husband and I went to try to find them and that cemetery is just so old. We went to the library and asked for um, any information that they could give us on where the records are kept. And she told us that a lot of the records had been lost. Um, the, they had been moved and shuffled and, and there was flooding in the courthouse apparently and, and a lot of the records are lost, which is really, really sad. A lot of the headstones have fallen off. There are not even headstones or markers on a lot of the graves. We went through most of the cemetery and we, we we didn't find any evidence of the two graves that we were looking for but it was a beautiful beautiful um, experience so much history there there was a mine explosion and 114 miners are actually buried in that cemetery that's how it began the Pocahontas Cemetery uh, in Pocahontas Virginia there, there's an exhibition coal mine there as well so it's a really really quaint little town and so that was nice and I'm hoping to put some a few just a few pictures at the end of the video if you'd be interested in seeing some of those it, it was really really a nice day and then Saturday I have an old iron bed frame a bed it was actually a bed double size and and of course back back in those days our double size do not coincide with their double size you know it, back in the day so we were trying to figure out how to put that on our queen size bed and it just dawned on us one day to mount it to the frame we were currently using so that's what uh, they did on Saturday my husband and a neighbor welded the frame onto welded the headboard and footboard onto our current bed frame and I absolutely love it I'm debating whether to paint it a cream color or just leave it in the iron patina. It's, it's really a cool bed. So we, we've had a good week and I would like to say thank you of course to everybody who has liked and subscribed the video. I'm up to I think 82 of you subscribing and, and I, that just overwhelms me and I really really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy coming and spending some time with me every week. Um, I've got some floss tube inspirations this week. I've been watching a lot of floss tube and there are just so many of you that I really, really enjoy. Um, I'd like to, I've got to watch the um. My husband said I say um too much, so I'm trying to watch that this time. Cindy's Cross Stitch. I've been watching her. She's one of my absolute favorites. She is just so soft-spoken and so sweet, and she makes the most beautiful 
um, ornaments, and she's working on trying to replenish her ornaments, um, her smalls, and it, they're just absolutely beautiful. She also stitched a pixie recently, if you'll watch her most recent video, a little pixie, and it's got all kinds of treasures and beads and cranic and um, just just beautiful, beautiful piece. So check her out, Cindy's Cross Stitch. And another one um, that I've really enjoyed watching is Country Stitchers. That's Liz and Deb. They show a lot of gadgets, stitching gadgets, and, and I like that. A lot of um, a lot of just interesting kits and uh, fobs and little little smalls and just things to use in your stitching that you wouldn't normally think about. Um, it, it's their their program is really really interesting if you're into you know that kind of that kind of thing. But they do uh, beautiful stitching as well. Um, so check them out, Country Stitchers, and then <clears throat> one more. I'm sorry, is uh, Crafty Cat Stitcher, Kathy. Um, she's real sweet. Her her daughter joined her on her last floss tube, and she uh, just finished a beautiful, beautiful um, Stony Creek Christmas chart that just, it's, it's got the beads and the treasures and, and just beautiful, so, so check her out as well. Previous finishes, I wanted to share a couple with you. Um, um, <laughs> there it again. These are both freebies, actually. I stitched these years ago, but I'm going to share them with you. This is a Rabbit Egg from Elisa Tordanesi, I, I think is how you pronounce that. It's Rabbit Egg. And it's still out there. It's still out there. I, I found the pattern online for um, someone that was asking about it. But I just used some fancy flosses that I had in my stash when I stitched it. And I just absolutely love how it turned out. And this fabric is just green grassy type. It's actually guacamole from Week Style Works. 30 count. And there's that. I absolutely love this one. Nice springy Easter chart. And the next one is, it's a very, very personalized sampler. If you're looking for something to put yourself on a sampler, this one is, is really beautiful. It's called Marcore Story. I stitched it back in 2004 and I did a lot of the charting myself I just took took each part. it was actually a mystery sampler and I just took each part and I whited it out and made a copy and then I charted my own motifs in there for, for the, the pattern but it came in I think nine nine sections yes nine sections and each section was kind of for a different Part of your life and I just personally I went crazy I just personalized the whole thing for myself in my life you know hope, hoping my children would kind of get a kick out of it when they when I'm gone but it is just I, I'm, I'm very proud of it I've got month and day and then year in the middle my initials my birth initials in there and then some of the things that I put on there that are kind of particular to me, this block right here is a lot of my growing up. Um, there's my high school mascot, we were the owls, and there's my granny with a little halo when she died. It's an homage to her. I played clarinet um, in the band, and then I was Miss Memoirs my senior year. So I, I put all of that in there. This block is, that's my sable kitty. I just lost her in October. I had her 18 years, 18 years. She was, she was my baby. 
she died in North Carolina when we moved, right, right, like two days before we moved, and we brought her here, and she's buried out, out there. She's close to me, so I miss her so much. I'll show you a picture of her at some point. I want to learn to insert pictures. I'm not sure if I could figure that out, but, but anyway, um, and there's the train from growing up, and um, then over here is one of my favorite blocks. It is, there's the actual house that I grew up in. I chartered it. And there's where I lived till I was two, Newport News, Virginia. Washington, D.C. I've lived. I've lived in Germany, West Virginia, Virginia. And so that, that block is really special, special to me as well. Here's my cross stitching. I was a business office manager in a nursing home. That's what I did uh, for a living until I retired. And... So I put the little money sign in the in the computer next to it, and then Redskins. I'm a big Redskins fan, and Star Trek. That's Scott Bakula in Enterprise. I got to meet him one time. I went to see the play Shenandoah in Washington D.C. when he did it there. That man just gives me the vapors. I I don't know what else to say. And then. Here are my children, my two boys and my daughter, and then my mom and dad. No, that's my sisters. And then mom and dad. Mom's got her little halo. I lost my mom when she was 57 back in 2003 uh, with breast, breast cancer. So that, that was, I wanted to put her on there. And then my biological father, who I'm, I'm not, I don't know. So he's on there, little baby. Bassinet and Christmas tree because I love Christmas and squirrel. That's my that was my nickname in high school. So so anyway, that's that's my core story. It's still out there. The pattern is still out there. It comes in sections and it is a zip file actually. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you're looking for something really personalized, it's 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 a wonderful piece of fabric art. That's that. I have a couple of FFOs this week that I Priscillified. Hashtag Priscillified. Um, I did uh, I farm fresh. I, I did, it didn't work out on the egg basket. It, the egg basket is really fat. So when in order for it to lay, I would have I would have had to put it right on the fat part, and it just didn't didn't work. I'll, I'll figure something else out for that. But I've had this dinner bell for forever, and so I just did farm fresh into a little pillow and stuck it on the bell. I'm not very happy. It's the first time I hand stitched it the pillow, and I'm not very. I put a little red gingham, that red gingham I showed you last week on the back, and then I'm not really happy with a couple of the corners. It's the first time I've put a trim around it, so I learned, uh, you know, uh, next time I'll know what not to do, but I like it. I like it, and that, that's what matters, right? And uh, I've, I've got it hanging up in the, I mean, uh, sitting in the kitchen counter. On the, this bell has been on my counter for, for ages, so so I'm pretty happy with that finish. It's, it's kind of countryfied, and I like it. And I got the washers and the magnets that I had though were not strong enough. So I have to get some more magnets. This is a Priscilla tip um, to put the washer wall or the magnet on your frame or whatever you're using and then a washer on the back of your piece and then you can switch them out. thought that was just really neat, but I need to get some more, some stronger magnets. But that's, that's all it is. Not expensive at all. But I did rose sampler. I used the fabric that you all um, thought would look best, and I absolutely and look at it. It's just it's just wonderful. I absolutely, love it. it's not perfect. You know, working on the corners, getting <laughs> getting those sharp and getting it centered, and and uh, but but I do, and it, it does come off. I'm not going to take it off, but it, it does come off. So I've got it hooked onto the the hook that was on the frame. So um, put some burlap and a covered button and some some pink ribbon on there, and I just I just love it. It's perfect. Well, to me, it's perfect. So thank you, Priscilla, for your inspiration. 
So that's that. And then I have some whips. I've been stitching pretty good all week. Um, um, here is my SR Home. It is a stitch along with Priscilla and Chelsea. Hashtag PC bless our home. You want to join. There's no time stipulations on these on their stitch alongs. You can just join whenever you want and just use the hashtag. So that's that's what I like about it. There's no pressure. No pressure. It's bless our home. And here's my progress on that. Got the house. Pretty much done except for the roof, which I'll um and Priscilla actually put yellow flowers, and I really like that. I, I wish I'd have done that, but too late now. So if you're doing it, think about the think about changing the flower colors. But I like the red. It'll tie in with the flag and the rest of the design. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Love it. And then the bear. It's Monopoly Monday, so I'll be working on this again today. But plugging, plugging. And actually, I found the right needle to work with the fabric, and it was not bad this week. I actually got a lot done, and it was really not bad. So I'm kind of enjoying it again, you know? You know, if, if you have a, a negative attitude, it's going to just, you know, but you, if if you find something good, you know. But here here she is. And this week, I got Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois outlined. Wrinkles, sorry. I pressed the rest of them, but I didn't press it. And that Ada is just. But yeah, there she is. Y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me that this lines up, because if it, if it doesn't meet over here, I just don't know. I might not be here next week. I just don't know what will happen, because it's not going to be pretty. So, pray for me. That's Monopoly. I have done some work. I'm sorry if I'm going out of frame here. On my drawn thread as well. This is bottom spot, spot of bottom. A lot of specialty stitches in this one, which I'm really, really digging. It's it's a lot of fun. There I am on that. Now, I love how the, the alphabet, you know, goes through all four of them. So that, that's really cool. And these lazy daisies. So cute. So, so cute. And then the, this vine is, these gourds are satin stitched, the little acorns satin stitched. The lazy daisies have uh, Smyrna crosses in the centers. And then the top of the acorn is actually double back stitch. So, but I, I just love this one. It's, it's really a lot of fun to do those, those different stitches. This little bee is killing me. Can you stand it? That will be, you know, but it, it's beautiful. This is stitching up very quickly, very quickly. And I love how the tree is in all, it's going to be in all four of them. So, really liking that one. So that's what I worked on this week, other than putting those finishes together. And I'm sorry to tuck at my bra strap. Goodness gracious, y'all know, yeah, you feel me? You feel my thing? Um, Mania, I've got some more to show you that I, I've got, I've decided, I've got 12 starts planned. 12 starts, I think, 12 starts. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm, every other day I haven't decided yet, we'll see. But I'm planning on Lantern Lane. This is also a Priscilla and Chelsea stitch along, if you're interested. Not really sure what the hashtag is for that one, but I will find it and link it below if you're interested in joining in on that one. 
I love it, love it. So I, I, I definitely want to do that one. My BFF and I are going to join that stitch along. This one I've had for years, and I got the pattern this way, and I just feel so sad for it, you know, because it's it's been abused and neglected, and I'm going to stitch it just because it's it needs some love. It's Bent Creek Winter Knocker. Look at that, poor thing. And I just, I love that little snowman. I pulled the threads for it, and I'm just going to do a B5200 for the snowman. I'm just going to make him bright white and let the colors around him shine. But he, he's going to pop regardless. So, you know, love its heart. Need some love. And then another one is Wishing Thee Plenty by Homespun Elegance. A lot of my starts are fall. Can't help it. Stitch what you love. You know, I love fall. I love these colors. I'm not uh, speaking of colors. Y'all. Y'all. Can you stand these? Look. <laughs> these are all weeks. Look at those beautiful colors. Yes. Mm. This is me on this this is me personified right here. <laughs> right here. This this is me. So I am really looking forward to this. I think I'm gonna use one of my tea dyed linens that I dyed a couple of weeks ago for this puppy. Pretty creepy. And then the last one I'll show you this week, and then I'll show you the other three next week. But there's been a lot of talk recently about Mr. Rogers. I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> I haven't looked it up. I'm sorry. I haven't looked it up. But um, I've had this chart for forever. I gave a pretty, pretty penny for this chart. It is it is extremely rare. rare, rare. And I was, I grew up with Mr. Rogers. If you're from my generation, you probably did too. Won't you be my neighbor? And I can still sing the songs from this show. I can still sing right along with him. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful man. This leaflet is from 1982. 1982, Mr. Rogers and King Friday there. And what I'm going to do in, in the book are King Friday and Queen Saturday, and then there's the castle, and then the trolley, and then we have Henrietta the Cat, and X the Owl, and Daniel the Lion, and then Lady, Lady Elaine Fairchild. And they're kind of, it's art by Abby, and they're kind of, kind of abstracty. They're not, you know, like today's things you'd find. But so, so they're they're a little primitive in in how they're designed. But but you know, I, I just love them, and I'm going to stitch trolley. I have a blue fabric, blue uh, uh, linen. I think it might be even weave, and it's got like a cloud effect on it and I think that would I'm not going to stitch the words I'm just going to stitch trolley and I, I think that would be really cool I want to stitch all of them eventually because I just I just love the show it's so much of a part, a part of me even if you know they I, and I wish they were charted to where you could stitch them over one because I'd like to have them small and just kind of sitting around you know like a neighborhood you know type thing but but there are uh, lots of half stitches, quarter stitches, and lots of back stitching, so typical of, of the, the day, but I had found a quote from Mr. Rogers that I stuck in this leaflet years ago. Um, Parents are like shuttles on a loom. They join the threads of the past with threads of the future and leave their own bright patterns as they go. Isn't that cool? Such, such a wonderful man. He really was. So, so much a part of so many lives. So that is that 
for my Mania plans. And last, I wanted to tell you also, last week you probably saw me look at this funny. Uh, I looked at it really funny when I picked it up. It hit me. I don't think this is mine. I actually think this was an exchange I did years ago with someone, which explains why it's not with my other uh, or ornaments. But I, I didn't want to claim this as mine when, you know, someone made it for me. And, and I, I think I know, but I, I'm, I'm really not 100 percent, but I, I'm pretty sure I know who did it for me. So I just wanted to clear that up in case she ever watches and goes, no, that I made that for her. <laughs> I don't want that. But I, I do believe that this was a gift. Um, but, but the general idea is the same. But I just wanted to clear that up. Now, retail therapy. I had a little bit this week, not, not, not as much as I'd like, but I did. I have some Y'all should see the cleanup that has to happen after one of these videos. I've got stuff just out of my hands and everywhere. I have to put everything back together where it goes. But I had a little fabric retail therapy from Dixie Sampler. This is nutmeg. Now, I'll tell you how this works, y'all. This is so cool. She has a Facebook page. And I asked her if I could shout her out. She said absolutely. But... She dyes these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. And what she does is once a, uh, once a week, once a month, she puts fabrics on her Facebook page and she puts what she's got and then she puts a specialty floss that lets you know what kind of what color the fabric is, what, what matches it closest. She puts that on her Facebook and in the in and she makes a separate post for each count. Then in the comments or on the on the pictures, she's got um, the fabrics numbered like one through ten. If she's got ten pieces, and she'll put the size and then she'll put the price. And if you're lucky enough to be one of the first few people that are you know is interested in that fabric, you comment with what number. That coincides with the piece that you want and if you're the first one to claim that number you get the fabric which is, is fabulous so i was this is i've seen i've seen it so many times and i've never been online when it's happened and they've always been sold out but i actually got in on it this week or last last week but yeah she's she's very very beautiful beautiful fabrics and it's dixie sampler hand dyed fabrics on Facebook and I'll also put that down below for you so if you add her um, you can look and see you know kind of pay attention to her posts and you may end up lucking out and getting a piece of her fabric if you if you want it but yeah she, she's just just beautiful fabric so that that's cool now I have to tell you I'm a happy girl I am a planner uh, girl. I, I love planners. I have a happy planner that I've had for years. And I've tried a couple of the different brands, but have, I always go back to the, the happy planner is my planner. It's just wonderful. It's This is my 2017-2018 one. And what I do in them, my journal um, in them, that's, that's basically what I use it for. I don't really plan things because every time I plan something it falls through anyway so there's no need in planning anything but I, I use mine for journaling and uh, I belong to several planner groups on Facebook and, and what's neat about the happy planners is these discs these pages just pop out if you want to take it out just take it out it just comes right out and then you pop in what you want you know, if you want to move things around, if you want to, you know, so you can make it very personalized. And in the planner community, it's much like cross stitch. There's stash. I have planner stash. I have washi tape. I have stickers, <laughs> stickers, and scrap of uh, uh, 
paper that I cut to fit the squares and just, just, I girly it up, you know, I love it. And so, like I said, I, I, I use it for journaling. And I saw on Stitch Mania on the Facebook group, somebody posted a cross stitch planner. And I just like to fill out my floor. I saw, no, I have to have that. I have to have that. So I went and I went to Hobby Lobby online. And I found it and ordered it like immediately, immediately. And I got the discount, you know, with the coupon. But by the time I paid shipping, it was about the, you know, but, but anyway, I got, I had it on. And then I'll be darned the next day I went to Hobby Lobby and there it was. But I didn't fondle it too much because I wanted to be surprised when it came. But, you know, the best part, it is, uses the Happy Planner rings. It's made by Dimensions, but it is cut just like the Happy Planner. And I'm just over the moon. I, y'all, I can't tell y'all. I know I'm approaching 30 minutes, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to make this quick. It, it looks like this is the cover, and I wasn't digging on the cover. I mean, you know, this is cross-stitch planner. So I just flipped it, and then it comes with it came with white discs, and I changed them to um, some gold Happy Planner rings that I have, and I put a, put a little, little Simply sticker on it, and I like that. Just simple, simple. But let me show you what's inside. It is so cool. This is, I've got it set up for Mania. So, it's, I, I just prettied it up a little bit with some stickers and some scrapbook paper that, that I had. And it came with these little pockets, which I'm not sure what I'll use those for. I'll probably take them out and use them in my actual planner, you know, for some cards or something. Or, you know, but you, you can decorate it. You know, just just happy stuff. And you look at it, and it just makes you happy. You know, it came with those three three sheets of those, and then it came with a zipper pocket. And then this is reference. It's got stitches, a stitch reference, and kind of a how-to kind of thing. I'll probably take this out. I just wanted to leave it in so I could show you. But I like this. I've already personalized everything. You know. My, I think the rule is you're not supposed to play with stuff until you show it, but this, not, that was not happening. I, this, when I got this, it was like, so exciting. But, and look at these stickers. Stickers. Look. Um, look. <laughs> well, you got this. Looks wonderful. Make little notes. And then I put a pocket in here and then projects, which is going to be wonderful for the next year of my life. It's got works in progress list, start date. It says due date. I'll probably change that. And then how many hours and priority, which, you know, that's not necessary, but I like having a whip list. And then if you want, which I'm going to use these for my VAPs. Um, it's got dimensions, materials used, stitches used, project description, date started. Just And it's got like, I guess, six or eight of these pages like this. And then graph paper on the back. Can you stand it? <laughs> and love that. And I added some graph, some more um, graph paper that I had from my habit planner, and some. The next one's inventory DMC checklist. Oh, leave it to dimensions to think of everything. And material and cloth swatches. <laughs> if you have a piece of fabric, cut the little piece and then put the details in case you want to order some more. You know, thought of everything. And more pockets. And then this is May. And every, which I'll show you in a minute, um, but there's my May monthly. I've got it all decorated and all pretty girlified. <laughs> and then this is the first week in May. I've already decorated it. And as I decorate my regular happy planner, I'm just going to keep decorating the weeks. Love it. 
And I'll just write on here what I did that day and what I stitched. And this is will take a lot of the stuff from my regular planner out of that, put it in here because I stitch a I journal a lot about what I'm stitching in there. So that'll be able to separate those. But at the end of every month, there's this really neat. You get a chart, and then it shows you for the next month. You get the chart for this design, and the same for you know every month. The chart is in there. Now there's only a couple of these that I want to stitch, but these are kind of like those European cross stitch designs where the they'll make a full X and then they'll back stitch through it, and part of the X is sticking out the back stitch. And I, I don't really like that. I, I like them to be perfectly around the, you know, the back stitch to go perfectly around the stitching. So that drives me crazy. And a lot of these patterns are like that. You know, a lot of people don't, don't mind that. It's, you know, it's still, as long as it's pretty much colored in, then that, that's, that's fine. And that's fine. You know, everybody likes different things, but, but I, I just don't. And I thought about taking those pages uh, charts out, but they're actually, they've actually got the rest of the month on the back of them. So I can't. So like the end of July is on day, so I have to leave them in there. But that's that's my planner goodie for just I, can y'all tell me how about happy 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 about this? I love it, I love it, love it. So just wanted to share that with you. And I found uh brand new floss tuber her name is wendy and her channel is hoodlums times four and she did her first floss tube and i watched it it's a really sweet sweet gal just i just love to hear her talk so she's got such a sweet accent but i looked through she's been on on uh, youtube for a long time but she does junk journals and if you have time I'll also link her. Go and look at some of her junk journals. If you're into journaling and if you're, it's amazing. She takes everyday things, junk mail. She takes envelopes. She takes uh, little note cards, anything paper products that she comes by by living her life every day. She incorporates those into her journals and she's got little pockets with little places to journal on all the pages. She paints the pages sometimes and puts doilies in them and, and she makes little pockets with little cards that you can pull out and write a little note on and stick them back in there. And it's just really, really cool. And the things just stick out by the time she puts everything in it, you know, that you got to put a band around it kind of to keep it together. But they are just so cool. If I wasn't already journaling, I would probably get into that a little bit more. But just check her out. Hoodlums times four. And it's her name is Wendy. So she's that's really, really interesting. You know, just just different kind of stuff um, for, you know, our different hobbies. So, well, thank you for being here and spending some time with me. And I really appreciate you again. Like I said, thank you for all the likes, subscriptions, comments. Love reading your comments, and I, I hope I answer everybody. I'm trying to. Um, if, if I miss somebody, I will I will find you. <laughs> I will get there. And uh, um, I've had a few shout outs, and if you, you know, if you have a channel, leave, leave your information so that I can watch you. And also, if you, um, if you mention me, please let me know, because I don't want somebody to mention me and me not see that I want I want to be able to reciprocate and and uh, watch your video as well so you guys are all just so wonderful and so welcoming and I really really appreciate every one of you so you have a good week and I will see you next Monday which is the 30th which is also the day before mania starts so I will see you then have a good one bye